Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Pittman. I'm an exercise physiologist. And today I wanna to talk to you about sleep quality and the importance of getting adequate amounts of sleep. So as we know, we need rest in order to function in day-to-day -day life. We need to be able to rest so that our mind can do its job and that our body has enough energy to do what it needs to do. So eight hours is what we wanna shoot for. And the reason why it's eight hours came about before electricity was available to people, they would go to sleep when it was dark and wake up when the sun would come out. So in different parts of the world, that would be longer. It would be more of like a hibernation process. Um, but in, in general, over the years, they've narrowed it down to those eight hours. So I hear from a lot of people that they have trouble sleeping, that they're not able to get to sleep, or if they do, they wake up and they're not able to stay asleep. So this is gonna be you know, contraindicated to a healthy, active lifestyle. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get to sleep, how to stay asleep, give you some advice on what could be possibly causing sleep disturbances, and then um, we'll talk a little bit more about um, some studies and things like that. So. Um, so some things that could be contributing to not falling asleep, um, maybe eating too close to going to bed at night, maybe um, having alcohol. Sometimes people will have a drink before they go to sleep and that helps them fall asleep, but sometimes it will wake you up and it will not allow you to get continuous sleep. Okay, a poor diet and lack of exercise obviously also contribute to sleep quality. And then in general, you know, we're not really living you know, our, maybe we are, some of you are, but you know, a lot of times we're not living our full life or a full, or to our full potential every single day. If you watch kids, you know, they're jumping, they're running, they're playing, they're expressing themselves genuinely from their heart, whether they're crying, whether they're laughing, they're actually feeling and functioning within the, every emotion and every, every feeling they can possibly have and they sleep really well, right? They may not wanna to go to bed at night, but when they do sleep, they, they sleep very well. And so I really feel like that has to do with, you know, being just open and transparent and being who you really are. So in order for us to get good sleep, we wanna make sure first that we're being genuine, we're being transparent, that we're, you know, doing the inner work that we need to do in order to, you know, discover who we're meant to be and what we're supposed to do in this life. So if we're not fulfilled in our careers or even just in the day to day, you know, sometimes, you know, there can be thoughts, ruminating thoughts and thoughts that, you know, just, you know, make us feel unsettled or that we can't really rest in our minds or in our bodies. So everything's connected, right? So, you know, you can write things down. I encourage you guys to do that all the time, you know, and then talk to God about the things that are troubling you, the things that are on your mind, and then ask him in what direction he wants you to go and then just wait and then just be settled in that. Um, I can tell you that that helps me a lot, you know, because especially this day and age, there's so many options of things for us. There's so many possibilities um, as far as like well, should I travel here or there or what should I do with my holiday or what gift should I buy or you know what should I have for dinner like anything could be a stressful event if we make it that way but if we are aligned with what we're supposed to be doing in life and who we genuinely are it takes a lot of the stress away and it it allows us to not have to perform in order to feel like things are happening in life, you know, like the ball is moving forward or we're getting somewhere because in reality, at the end of the day, you know, we have this, this short amount of time, this lifespan that we have. And then at the end of that, we will all, we will all pass into the next thing, the next experience, right? So being able to have a knowing that everything's going to be okay in the long run helps us to not you know, overanalyze life or ourselves or try to feel like we need to be at a certain place or, or be doing more. Yes, we need to be, you know, striving for better always, um, but not, not necessarily putting that amount of stress on ourselves that we're not able to go to sleep at night and rest and be able to function. So um, it's just a reality. Maybe some people think about it. Maybe some people don't and they just live our lives. But if you're not sleeping well, that is an indicator that something is off. There is an imbalance somewhere. So if you're drinking alcohol, okay, especially late at night to go to sleep, that's going to disrupt your sleep. Um, poor eating patterns, you know, if you get um, 
acid reflux if you're eating too close to bed um, and then just a poor diet overall throughout the day can throw off your hormone balance which you know melatonin is a hormone so that's going to be thrown off possibly as well and then just you know a lot of other stress and sex hormones that we need in order to function as a whole person okay so eating well keeping those hormones in balance you know by eating fresh fruits and vegetables eliminating processed foods all the stuff that i talk to you guys about all the time right it's not just for aesthetics it's not just for heart health it's just for overall health right so our body can function at its best and do what it needs to do so there was a study done in september of this year 2022 on a thousand college students and the study analyzed their sleeping patterns in relation to physical exercise so they also um, analyzed their mindfulness and ruminative thought patterns so throughout the study it showed that by engaging in physical activity or structured exercise that the college students were able to reduce ruminate, ruminative, ruminative thinking so ba basically like repetitive thought patterns and increase mindfulness and what is mindfulness you know mindfulness is just being aware of your body being, being aware of your choices having like um a thought before the action if you want to think about it like that um so that increased the mindfulness increase and the ruminative thoughts decreased with physical activity which in turn helped with the um, sleep so the exercise in this study did not show that it directly affected sleep but through the other um, effects that it had it in turn affected sleep quality and people were able to get better rest so that's just one study i'm going to link that down below so you can take a look at it um, and just analyze that um, there's several bible verses about sleep um, and so one of them um, is matthew 11 28 it says come to me all who are weary and heavy burdened and i will give you rest so the purpose of our relationship with christ is that we're laying everything at his feet and that he is giving us you know peace in return and rest and a sound mind okay and if that's not what you're experiencing again i encourage you to really do some soul searching write things down analyze your life as you're sitting where you are right now are there aspects in your life that are impeding your growth that are affecting your health mentally physically spiritually and just be real with yourself and and just realize like you know for instance you know just having an awareness of what you like and what you don't like sometimes we think we need to like things because it's popular or because you know it brings like a certain status or whatever but you know stop and really think do i like that do i want to do that and sometimes it's hard you know we want to phone a friend like should i do this do i want to do this and sometimes we need help but sometimes just just look inside and say like is this the best for me is this what i want out of life and then go with that decision and then if good or bad happens at least you know that you were true and honest with yourself and then you can lay your head on the pillow at night knowing that you made a decision based on you know what you really wanted okay and every new day has new opportunities so we can always look forward to that all right um so you know some things that can help with sleep you know you don't want to rely on medications or supplements for that matter for long periods of time um so you know teas are always a great idea i've mentioned a lot of anti-anxiety teas like holy basil and passion flower uh, melatonin um, supplements may be good for a time but it's not something you want to rely on why because your body gets used to it and it's not going to build up its own natural stores of the melatonin this is something our nat our body naturally produces okay so we want to help ourselves help ourselves if that makes sense you know our body wants to be in homeostasis and we need to get that rest okay um some other things you can do um, to get to sleep you know you can listen to relaxing music uh, i found you know that nature music helps me the most there were some like different sounds and stuff like on itunes and youtube and you know if i fall asleep i don't know what they're saying in those sounds or what it's actually producing in me um you know there's a frequency to music and that frequency has the potential to resonate with every cell in our body you know so 
you want to make sure that you are listening to things that are creating life and not creating destruction. Um, so you can look up, um, it's not really sound resonance in the new age sense, but just the, um, the frequency of, of music and of sound. Um, and just, just look into that and see what you find. Uh, so maybe some classical music or something very relaxing um, before you go to sleep. Whenever I can't sleep and I put that on, I fall asleep right away, okay? Making sure that you have the right temperature in your room, that you're not thirsty, um, you know, and just uh, trying to get yourself as comfortable as possible. Maybe wearing the right pajamas it could be something as simple as that, okay? Um, and then just, you know, creating the atmosphere in which you go to sleep. You know, if you feel comfortable watching something before you go to sleep, see if you're able to stay asleep. See how that really affects you, okay? And then try to get yourself into a pattern where you're gonna look forward to going to sleep at night. You're gonna you look forward to being able to rest and power down and see, kind of maybe play around with some different things and see how that works for you. You know, I have the salt lamps in my room and I feel like that sometimes really helps me um, wind down. You know uh, reading the bible or you know unfortunately we're we're surfing through the social media most of us before we go to sleep and it's such a hard habit to break uh, but that can be also causing you to not be able to rest as well so much to talk about but um i think that's you know basically what i wanted to share today um if you're not getting great rest I will be praying for you and you know if you're having any medical issues that are affecting your sleep as well try to get those addressed and if you're in the middle of that you know just be encouraged this too shall pass um, just keep going forward I am here if you have any questions comments or concerns please like my video guys press like write a comment and if you have any tips for healthy sleep um, so we can all read them you can write them in the comments as well i hope you're having a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye